This is the Sangi Pay Sewer Detection Camera System, equipped with a Sande, I think that's how you pronounce it, detector. So when this thing is inside the ground, inside pipes, you have a device that will tell you exactly where it's located in the ground, become very useful for surveying properties to figure out where the pipes are so you don't mess them up when you're digging or hammering rods or whatever it is into the ground so let's go ahead and unbox all of this i've already used it i'm going to tell you the pros the cons and keep in mind i am no professional i have some boroscopes i've used before they're pretty straightforward and this is pretty straightforward too but there are some things that you need to know so you know exactly what to pick when you shop for these so first up let's open up the detector they come in nice cases, you know, nice enough. This is no Pelican um, foam. And you have your device here. So this is the handheld unit. It will make noise. Uh, and then it'll also, and you can increase the sensitivity. Uh, and as you get closer to it, this will begin to jump. Now the antenna is here underneath here kind of difficult to get to but the antenna is in there and you'll see all of this together later on in the video then you have your charger up there and I don't know what this is now one thing that I do like about this charger is when you plug it in it'll let you know when it's done charging by this indicator here it'll be red and in, in initially and then it'll turn green when it's fully charged let's go and put that back yeah all right now now you don't need that detector to use this uh you could be used alone but again it's very helpful when you're doing surveying so here we are the suitcase here so let's just start at the top what we have up top we have our screen uh and it has a baseball cap which allows it to stay cool from the sun so it prevents any glare so there you go right there it prevents glare uh i hate it okay because when there is no glare, I don't want to have to lay down on the ground and look at this thing. I like to just lift it up, but it doesn't stay up. It just falls back down. And, you know, you can bend it back a little bit and then it'll stay up then. But it usually ends up falling, see, falling back down as soon as. So that's annoying. I'm, gonna just, I'm not going to fight this thing. All right, so inside of here, we have... This is actually a battery. So this powers this whole unit up. This is a battery operated, obviously. And you have your, your charge port. So you have your uh, battery indicator on this side. You have uh, your connection to the monitor here. It gives it the power, then it gives the, the video out. Then you connect your camera there. And again, oh, I'm silly. The LED is adjusted for the light on the actual camera itself. There you go. It comes with a little screwdriver. I highly recommend not using this. And I'll get to what this screwdriver is for in a second. Comes with the remote. The remote for me is janky. I just I probably wouldn't use the remote anyway, because I mean, why? You'd be somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna need to kind of be right here anyway. So I the, the remote is just kind of redundant and I feel a tad unnecessary. Then you have your first protector. This is when you're going through fairly large pipes, um, not super big ones. That's what this is for. Uh, it helps keep it level um, when going through like air, duct, air ducts like you'll see later on today. And here's the uh, charger. Now, here's the thing about this charger I don't like. This thing lights up blue when you plug it in. It just stays blue. So you don't really know. I mean, you can turn this on. You'll see where it's full. But, you know, sometimes full ain't full. This might be 90% or 75 or 80%. And it'll just still show full even though it's not. And here is the camera itself with its self-leveling system here. And the self-leveling works pretty good. I don't think it's probably the best because obviously this is not their top of the line model um but they didn't want to see the top of the line model uh <laughs> so this is what it is uh but yeah but it's but it's good though it's good um and then here is uh the actual 
the actual line okay so this is what will what you'll attach your camera to to send it through the pipes or the duct work uh, and this is also another adapter to connect the camera line or the camera itself to the battery so let's go ahead and take this out we'll show you briefly how that works and then we'll go over the rest of the stuff so it's in there really good I had to use two hands um, this is really simple to use uh, you connect the battery and uh, using this right here this is a little tight because obviously it wants to bump the rest of the cable right there but you know it's doable once it slides down it'll give you more clearance uh, on this side you know you just pull this out and this is where you connect your camera to uh, and to unwind you just turn it counterclockwise you see how it's coming out and then wind it back up you turn it clockwise but you want to you're going to need two hands to do it because you're going to have to fish this back in a little bit and i was able to just do this with one hand but you fish it back in while turning this uh clockwise and it'll wrap itself up neatly now let's talk about what i don't like about this so on these little adapters you get these things and you will put the camera itself inside like so but they're stopped by these things you have to untwist them if you use this this is like a really sharp piece of steel here and it basically just mangles these things if they get a little bit stuck which i had um on the roller uh, i just simply use a better tool that was wide, a little bit wider so it filled it out more and it was less uh it, it's not just this steel right it was it was a little softer i just used some electrical uh electrical flathead a crescent electrical flathead and it works way better no stripping and it didn't tear up the plastic i mean it's kind of it so now that you see everything this case is really nice uh it's obviously not top grade uh bulletproof security case but it but it works uh and now let's get into the demonstration all right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm testing out the sonde. The detector that it tell me where the tip of that thing is located within a pipe or air duct. I really need this when I was trying to install the grounding rod to figure out where the heck the drainage pipes were in the ground because I live in a small town in the city just they didn't have this. So now I do. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to turn it on. We just turn it on by turning this down. It's going to get loud and funky, and then it'll give us our battery indicator, and we'll tell it whether it's near or far. All right, so I guess if it's deep, deep down in the ground, you'll say, oh, this drain far. And if it's kind of shallow, you say, oh, it's, it's pretty close. So we're going to leave it on near, which is a very shallow button. It's almost imperceptible of what's what. That's far. And that's near. Far near. Very not as dramatic as the drawings. Okay, well, shoot. Actually, it's about the same. All right, so let's turn it on. And we're going to keep it on. You can turn up the sensitivity. I'm going to keep it relatively. We're going to do the first just like that. Okay. And so the air duct goes there, and it, I believe it goes straight. So let's see. It would be right here in the corner of the closet. Okay. So it's in the closet. <laughs> so that's a, that's a nice little uh, distance. That thing went. It's right here. So it works. Let's see if I push far. If it'll get it while I'm standing up. Oh, it got it. So this works really well. Now we also have some footage, and I'll just try to put this on the computer. I'm going to start pulling it out now, uh, and you can kind of see the the self leveling. It did, does a pretty good pretty good job, in my opinion. I'll push it 
back down here so you can see how it does. See, it does a pretty good job for the self level in my opinion. Now I'm going to pull this out. Once it got right here under the tape by the closet, we started experiencing some problems. And that's basically with this cable. This cable is not thick enough. If it was a little thicker, I think I'd be able to push it over this hump. If you can see, if I pull it out, pull it back a little bit. You see that? It seems to be getting caught on that. Um, the wheels and it's, once I try to push it through there, it's not rolling through. Oh, there you go. Oh, now it's getting it. Oh, there's a spider web. But see, it's on my end, it's stuck against something, it feels like. So, that's gone. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this back out. All right, so unfortunately, I don't have any real plumbing jobs. So we're going to demonstrate on this PVC, and that has a 90-degree angle elbow on the end, and you probably guessed it, but that ain't that ain't working um so we're going to go do a demonstration through this pipe first and then we're going to do a demonstration through the larger pipe which i mean it's pretty much going to be the same uh this one obviously is going to be a little more controlled because about the same size as the tip there um here uh this will probably be a better example of we'll be able to see the self-leveling system a little bit more but again then that air duct that was telling it all right there. So let's go ahead and do this quick demo. All right, so we see the PVC on the screen there. I'm going to just go ahead and loosen up the line a little bit. Go ahead and push it up. It came out. brand new pipe so there's going to be no debris on there or anything and i couldn't find any elbow so there you go now let's go through the smaller one that is a really good picture though i got it handed it's a really really good picture but obviously this is going to be no haps. Let's see what we could do. No, not even an attempt to turn. Which I figured, and even if that didn't catch it, uh, the ridges probably would have caught it as well. I wish I'd have got a 45 degree angle elbow to demonstrate this. But if you like me, I want to know how this works on 90 degree angles. And of course, the tip is going to be too big. If you have a shorter pipe, you would use a boroscope something that could handle that a lot more and then just kind of looking in the room right there you see the quality of the camera now we can also use the remote to do some things pull up the menu here okay there we go for a remote Hit record and start recording. Well, at least it was. Uh, this is kind of acting a little wonky right now. It just worked. It didn't stop working. Okay, I'm having problems with the remote. So there you have it. The Sangy Pace uh, sewer inspection system and duct work as, um, as well, obviously. Uh, one thing, they do have uh, higher end models. Again, I want to keep, keep, keep that in mind. They have higher end models that have thicker cable. And I think the thicker cable will give you an overall better experience with those things are upward of two grand. Um, but compared to others that I've seen uh, on Amazon and stuff, or just even at Home Depot, these things can be expensive. So uh, if you're interested in saving some, some money and you want to try the Sangy Pace, I just recommend that you get it. You play around with it. Uh, the camera quality is really good. Uh, and the, the user friendliness, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to use. So anyway, that's it. If you have any questions, ask them below in the comments. Hopefully this was helpful. See you guys next time.